Good morning, everybody. How are you all this fine morning? I hope you get all excited about our trip starting tomorrow. But, you know, for now, you are in London, but I am still at home in uh, Cornwall. And for once, I am not lying. This may be a virtual trip, but I really am at home in Cornwall. Now, normally tonight, I would make my way on uh, to London on the cool, super cool sleeper train, which I love so much, and then welcome you to tomorrow morning in London. So at least this part of the trip is not really virtual at all. So here in Cornwall, we like, we have this, what we call a Cornish uniform. So this is my blue and white stripe. We have that in all variations. Everybody wears it all the time. Goes really, really well with our landscape. And our landscape is very much uh, dominated by the coast. Uh, the furthest you can be away in Cornwall from a beach is eight miles. And most people are not even uh, that far far away ever from a beach. So this plays a big um, part in our everyday life. You can see I have my little booties here for my wetsuit because I'm a bit of a coward um, when it comes to stepping into the sea. And I always have a winter wet, really, really thick. Might make me look like a Mitchell man, but I don't care. Now we all surf and paddle and kayak and sail and or take our Labradors. It's it's practically a law to have a Labrador here in uh, in Cornwall on the beach for walks. So this is very, very, very important um, for us. And there is one um, organization that helps to make sure we are all safe and not just all we Cornish, well, Cornish um, people here, but, you know, everybody who comes to Cornwall. And these are the RNLI guys. Look, you so cute what they look like with the little helmets on when they go on to the boats. These guys are super important and every single person who lives by the coast, and let's face it, we're living on an island, so, you know, nobody is that far from the coast, has benefited directly or indirectly from their work. They are mostly volunteers and some of you who have been to Devon and Cornwall with me will know that I keep sending you into their souvenir shops in St. Ives to make sure that you support them. It's some Thing that you can still do, of course. Another thing that Cornwall is famous for is, of course, the pasty. The pasty, there you go. Um, now, the famous Cornish pasty it is actually a protected name, so it has to be made in Cornwall in order to be a Cornish pasty. But of course, if you're thinking, really, how is that going to get to London on Liverpool Street Station? I'm sure I saw one of these Cornish pasty things. Yes, but they can be baked somewhere else. So a Cornish pasty comes in two variations originally. Now it comes in loads more, which is great. But the main is the uh, Cornish pasty is normally the traditional, which is beef and some root vegetables, not root ones. They're not swearing vegetables. They're just root vegetables in a kind of sauce are the vegetarian option, which is like cheese and onion or cheese and vegetables. Now we have all kinds of wonderful things. We have like, you know, broccoli and stilton and lamb and mint sauce and, you know, vegan, gluten free, uh, chickpeas pea and kale and whatever. But the one thing you will never, ever, ever find in a um, pasty is fish. And fishermen don't traditionally take pasties onto their boats when they go out fishing because it's supposed to bring bad luck. They do cheat a bit, so they just move and, and make it a different shape. But we will not tell anybody because we don't want them to have bad luck. Of course. Another thing that Cornwall is famous for is the Cornish cream tea. Now, I know some of you very, very, very badly uh, ad advised calling it Devonshire cream tea. Why? It's Cornish cream tea. And also the Cornish cream tea, it is always, always jam first. It makes no sense not to have jam first. It's the glue that keeps the scone and the cream together. Otherwise, it'll just be dreadful. No, makes no sense at all. It's not proper, as we say here in Cornwall. It's not a proper job. And you can always tell people who have eaten it the wrong way, the Devon way, by the stains they have on their shirt. So, Personally, I wouldn't. The other thing is also, 
if you eat the Cornish cream tea, which is of course scone, strawberry jam, and the beautiful thick clotted cream with a nice cup of milky sweet tea, if you eat it the right way, the proper way, the Cornish way, zero calories. Perfect. The Devon way, however, 24,000 calories. It's your choice. So... Now, I will get ready for our trip tomorrow. So, in a proper Cornish way, I will see you directly. Love you. Love you, me handsome.